Well, I'm Walt Michael, and um, we're here in Uniontown. And I'm Rob Caswell, and uh, we're here at my home today. I play the hammer dulcimer and have been playing since 1971. And um, Rob comes from a musical family and a boat building family, has great woodworking skills and great musical skills. And um, we thought we would apply for the grant from the Arts Councils to replicate in a wonderful instrument that I've had since 1982. And um, it has a, a unique sound. And this would also give us a chance for Rob to be working on learning to play the hammer dulcimer at the same time. It's uh, played with hammers and it has strings. It looks like the inside of a piano. It's uh, uh, trapezoidal in shape. Dulcimer comes from a Latin word dulce, which means sweet. So it makes a sweet sound. Essentially, it's, it's what they call uh, a diatonic instrument, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, di, do, um, a series of beautiful uh, eight-note scales, and um, consequently not much dissonance. So the instrument uh, resounds, and uh, the tones last a long time, and they create this wonderful intermix of, of, uh, of sounds. So there's a lot of different music that's been played. Now it tends to be mostly dance music, you know, f related to the fiddle. But earlier, you know, in the 20th century and the 19th century, dulcimer players played anything and everything. Uh, it was much more a, an instrument of popular music. Um, but the, in the Renaissance, you know, a lot of people thought, oh, it's an Irish instrument or it's a Scottish instrument, and they, you know, they play the Irish tunes, the Scottish tunes, and you don't, didn't hear too much else on the instrument. I've played a variety of dance music on it, and also uh, I've always been in a band format, so I've backed up singing, and uh, I especially like the... Uh, the Irish harp music and the Scottish airs. So you can play anything on it, you know, it just depends on sort of where the instrument finds itself in a culture. So, you know, a good instrument in my mind is one that has great dynamic range. And that's what we're shooting for here. Uh, my instrument was built by Fletcher Brock, who's a friend of mine who heard me play guitar, and I guess Hammer Dulcimer as well. And um, I didn't know him at that time, and we just got into this jam, and he said, you're really into tone and dynamics. I want to build you an instrument, and that's how that happened. And so he built me an instrument, and I uh, built three of them, and the one that I have now is the, the final one he built, and it's made of koa wood. I've had it since 1982, and it, it has a voice like no other. So what we're trying to do here is replicate that. So we've torn apart another one that he built for me, and gone into the one I have now with mirrors, you know, to look inside it. And uh, Rob is doing his very best to not make any changes. And we're going to see if we can get that same sound. Now there are hammer dulcimer as well as mountain or lap dulcimer projects in the works too. So I just, uh, as I say, th I guess luthery or the building of musical instruments is a really fun intersection for me between music and, and woodworking. I I sort of suspect that the conclusion of this project won't be the last dulcimer that I wind up building, you know. It's a it at this point it's and probably until we string up this first run of, you know, one or two instruments that we're hoping to build during the course of this project until we string those up and hear what they sound like and observe them over a little period of time. Um I I wouldn't uh, hazard a guess as to what exactly the direction that dulcimer building might go in at that point. Um, it might be the case that we didn't quite hit the mark where we, you know, that we were shooting for and we'd go back to how can we do a better job of copying this or or somehow achieve the results that Fletcher did. Um, or we might find that we're real happy with the way they turn out and at that point I suppose it's a question of, you know, do you want to build a few more like this or do you want to play a little bit and see you know what improvements could still be made and and that kind of thing but uh, I'm enjoying that and as I say there's I think the in the at the end of the day the quest for better and better tone is what will bring me back to the shop again and again <laughs> so mm -hmm.